Hello everyone. I welcome you all to topic decodified session of analyst IAS. In this particular session, we will discuss about the topic need for judicial accountability and judicial independence in India. We will have this particular discussion in the following series. First, why in news followed by key facts related to this particular topic, followed by prelims practice question followed by mains practice question but before we start our discussion i want you all to be informed about very important class of analyst ias which include polity class which will start from 31st of november and ethics class which will start from 5th of december and along with that we will soon launch public administration optional course for mains 2023 so you can inquire about any of the following on the given number and you can also visit our official address that is in old rajendranagar market so now let's move on to our topic of discussion and see why it is in news in the recent time judicial accountability and judicial independence are seen as opposite concept but it is necessary to ensure a balance between them this was an article published in indian express now we will first understand what is the meaning of judicial accountability the term judicial accountability means that the judge are responsible for the decision they deliver and it also means that judges be held accountable for their conduct the judiciary is not subjected to the same level of accountability as the executive or the legislative wings of the government the reason is that the principle of judicial independence and accountability are sometimes regarded as fundamentally opposed to one another and hence judicial independence is considered as an essential pillar of the liberty and rule of law so if the judiciary is made accountable to the legislature or the executive it will definitely impact its independence so special provision have been provided to ensure the judicial accountability now we will discuss about this provision the first one is article 124 of indian constitution the constitution of india provides for the removal of judges of the supreme court of india under article 124 and also that of the high court for the misbehavior and incapacity by means of impeachment the next important article in the constitution is article 235 it provides for control of the high court over the subordinate judiciary and it provide an effective mechanism to enforce the accountability of the lower judiciary the next important is In the year of 1997 the Supreme Court of India adopted a charter called the Restatement of Values of Judicial Life the behavior and the conduct of member of the higher judiciary must reaffirm the people's faith in the impartiality of the judiciary so these are various provision with regard to judicial accountability Now we will understand what is the need to enhance judicial accountability. The first one is speedy justice. As speedy justice is not only our fundamental right but it is also a prerequisite for maintaining the rule of law and delivering good governance. The next one is impartial functioning. It will help in ensuring an impartial functioning that would augment public trust or public trust in the institution of the judiciary the next being no legal obligation unlike the executive the judiciary is not under any legal obligation to prepare annual report or table them before the parliament or the state legislature the next is guardian of the constitution the judicial accountability is more important as the derogation of the values in the judiciary is far more dangerous than in any other wing of the government as the judiciary has to act as the guardian of constitution the next is narrow scope of rti 
the scope of information which the courts are willing to share under the RTI is not too wide. The next being public confidence. The judiciary as an institution need to preserve its independence and to do this it must strive to maintain the confidence of the public in the established court. The next one is not under the direct control of SC or Supreme Court. Under our constitutional scheme, the High Court are autonomous constitutional bodies, not subject to administrative direction of the Supreme Court. So these are various points with regard to the need to enhance the judicial accountability. Now we will understand the challenges in enhancing the judicial accountability. The first one is independence of judiciary. The most important challenge for the regulation of the judicial accountability is that the judiciary is an independent organization and independence of the judges cannot be done away with. Any attempt to make the judiciary accountable to the legislature or executive will make it susceptible to external pressure and it is very difficult to balance judicial accountability vis-a-vis -vis judicial independence. The next drawback is removal of judges. There exists no other way in which a judge can be removed except through the impeachment and the process is long and complex and due to this it is difficult to augment judicial accountability. Again the process can't be diluted as it will impringe on the judicial independence. The next being power of contempt. Moreover, the Supreme Court and the High Court have the power of contempt that prevent imposition of anything on the judiciary without their consent. The judiciary is the final interpreter of laws, policies, rules, etc. and can easily strike down anything as per its will. So these are the challenges in enhancing the judicial accountability. With regard to the way forward, the Supreme Court should entrust it with direct responsibility for the functioning of the High Court. The second way forward could be the judges of the court must make annual financial disclosure statement not privately to their respective chief justices but publicly as done by the world's oldest democracy, the United States of America. And also, judicially accountability should be ensured by enacting a law on the lines of the American model. Lot of care need to be exercised so that the anti-corruption measures taken do not undermine the independence of the judiciary. The actual challenge is to grant as much judicial independence as it is necessary to have cases adjudicated impartially and neutrally and maintaining this equilibrium between accountability and independence is the real task at the hand. So this was about this particular topic. Now we will move on to our prelims practice question which says with reference to the Indian judiciary Consider the following statement. First, any retired judge of the Supreme Court of India can be called back to sit by the Chief Justice of India with prior permission of the President of India. Second, a High Court in India has the power to review its own judgment as the Supreme Court does. Which of the above statement given is correct? Your options are a. 1 only, B. 2 only, C. Both 1 and 2, and D. Neither 1 nor 2. So you have to pick up the correct statement and write it in comment box. I will answer this particular question in my next video. Now we will discuss yesterday's question. With reference to the ninth schedule of the Indian constitution, which one of the following statement is correct? So the correct statement is D. That is, at present, only the laws related to land and Chamindarik are presently placed in the ninth schedule. Now, we will move on toward our mains practice question, which says, any step toward overhauling the judicial system should intend to balance judicial independence 
and judicial accountability. Examine the above statement in the light of the recent controversies. So you have to answer this particular question in 250 words. Write your answer and send it to us on our WhatsApp number to get it reviewed. So this is all for today. Stay tuned with Analyst IAS to get further update. Thank you.